love burger. Me too, creature. Me too. I must consume more burger. I think you've had enough. I gotta cut you off, pal. This music is so whimsical. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Espoir David, and today I want to play a game that's by the same developer as Robber Guest called Creature in the Corner. You're in your bedroom, trying to fall asleep. But sleeping has been hard lately. Whenever you do finally manage to fall asleep, you wake up the next day feeling dreadful. Your dreams always disappear from your memory as soon as you wake up. It's probably for the better. Tonight, you seem to feel more uneasy than usual. Hours go by where you try your best to fall asleep, but it doesn't work. Hmm. Maybe clean up your room a little bit. <laughs> ah, who am I kidding? My room looks like that. Then you finally notice the f- The f- The figure in the corner of your room. How dare you! Hi! Hi. Stop! Its outlines are barely visible, but it's clear that its shape is not human. Neither is its face. You're a bit glad it's mostly obscured by the darkness right now. The creature is watching and observing you silently. The familiar dread is starting to course through your veins. <laughs> Attempt small talk, scream, or accept it. Hey, uh... Well, I mean, the, the fourth option that I usually do is not here, which would be to flirt aggressively. <laughs> Attempt small talk. Hello there. The creature tilts its head. It doesn't stop watching you. Um, thanks for watching me sleep. I appreciate it. I think. It makes low, growling noises. So, what are you doing over there? You like hanging out in the corner of my room? The creature nods its head in agreement. Can't blame you. My room corners are pretty cool. You hear cracking noises coming from the corner. It's hard to make out what's happening in the darkness, but the creature's body seems to move and contort in shape. Then, it slowly moves out of the corner. It seems intrigued by you. Oh, you came out of the corner. Welcome to the rest of my room. <laughs> the creature starts looking around the room. I know, my room's pretty cool. Look at all these Miku posters I have. You can look all you want. Except for my diary. Do not look at my diary. <laughs> the creature stares at your diary and nods in agreement. But it seems very tempted to look at your diary. No, don't look at my diary. You'll learn about my anxieties. Mm. <laughs> that face! The creature takes your diary. It looks at you, waiting for your permission to look inside. I just said- No! I said no! No. Put that back. The creature stares at you. Then at the diary. Then at you. Don't you- Don't- Don't- Don't! I said no! <laughs> the creature lets out a disgruntled, rumbling sound. It then eats the diary. How dare you? <gasps> Did you really just eat my diary out of spite? Ah. How dare you? How dare you make a cute face? Yeah, well, now you'll never know what was in there. Who knows? Maybe I would have shown you, eventually. The creature seems unbothered by your comment. It also makes a disgusted face. The diary tasted horrendous. You decided to eat it. The <laughs> Don't you make a pee face at me. Don't you stick out your tongue at me, you. <sighs> you do your best to calm down. Picking a fight with a paranormal entity might not be the best course of action. Oh, I don't know. I don't know where your face is, but my hands are gonna find it. That diary cost me five dollars at Walmart. So... Now that you've eaten my diary, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna keep hanging out here? The creature stares at you. It doesn't answer. Guess so. You try and hide your annoyance. If I go back to sleep, are you just gonna continue watching me? The creature stares at you. It doesn't answer. 
If I fall asleep, are you gonna shave my eyebrows as a prank? <gasps> the creature stares at you. It doesn't answer. Or eat more of my personal belongings? You stay away from my guinea chimaru toys! The creature stares at you. It doesn't answer. Are you gonna rip my organs out? The creature suddenly starts convulsing violently. What does that mean? It screams at you, making your ears hurt. Ah! Ay! Yeah! Uh, why are you making that face? Uh, it crawls back into the corner and continues observing you from the shadows. You hold your hands over your ears, trying to steady yourself. What the heck? Your ears hurt and rung. After a while, the ringing stops and your ears hurt less. You are very ticked off, but pull the sheets over your face, trying to fall asleep and not give attention to the creature in the corner of your room anymore. You're lame. Get out of here. I'm going to sleep. The creature is watching and observing you silently. The familiar dread is starting to course through your veins. Mm -hmm. But with time, you finally manage to fall asleep. Mm. You wake up the next morning feeling dreadful and anxious, but your dreams are gone from your memory, like always. The creature in the corner is gone, and the sunlight shines through your room. It is oddly quiet. Very uncomfortably quiet. You hear nothing. We. Why am I wee wooing? <laughs> oh, okay. Your neighbors tell you to shut the fluff up, but you don't hear them. I can't even hear myself. Uh oh. I can't hear anything. Am I deaf? Did that thing deafen me? You look in the mirror next to your bed. Some blood is trickling from your ears. How dare you? You bursted my eardrums! Son of a... <sighs> you sigh. Man... All of a sudden, not being able to hear anything at all. It feels so weird. I hate it. Mm. Am I going to die? No, no, you just gotta learn some American Sign Language now. You don't want to go to a doctor. You'd rather die. So you make the rational decision of wiping away the blood with some tissues and stay at home. I mean, that's probably what I would do anyway. <laughs> As you kill time at home, you do your best not to go crazy from the sudden loss of hearing. It starts getting dark. That corner thing better show up tonight. I'm gonna punch it in its stomach, wherever it is. The audacity to scream at me like a maniac and destroy my ears. You lie in bed, waiting. You almost fall asleep, when something finally starts moving in the corner of your room again. Listen here, you! The creature is watching and observing you silently. The familiar dread is starting to course through your veins. Oh. Hello there. The creature continues watching and observing you silently. Listen, I don't know what you did to my ears yesterday, but you better fix them. Uh, please? You hope the creature will fix your ears, instead of using its supernatural powers to destroy more bodily functions of yours. It starts crawling out of the corner, and is standing in your room again. Listen, buddy. The creature tilts its head. Come on, man. I miss hearing things. The creature tilts its head the other way. It seems confused. My ears. You point at your ears. The creature points to your ears with both of its long fingers. Then it points to itself. Yes, my ears. They don't work anymore. Ever since you screamed at me like a maniac yesterday. The creature does the pointing at your ears gesture again, this time more aggressively and faster. Yes, my ears. You broke them. The creature seems annoyed with your demeanor. It gets closer to your face. It screams in your face again. It does this multiple times. <laughs> Listen, friend. Quit it! Stop! Ow! Not again! The screaming hurts, but you can hear it. 
Your ears work again. <gasps> All right. Oh, thanks. The creature tilts its head again. It seems to be expecting something. What? You want compensation? It nods. Oh, all right. I think I've got an extra Miku figurine around here somewhere. Wait, but you messed up my ears in the first place. Why would I owe you? The creature starts shaking. It seems angry and makes offensive and demeaning gestures. <laughs> okay. But what do you even want from me then? The creature points out its hand, waiting for you to place something in it. Okay, but what do you want from me? The creature seems annoyed. It points to your mouth, then to its own mouth, and then to its stomach. Wait. Uh, uh, uh. What? <coughs> oh. It repeats the same gesture, this time making chewing and nomming noises. You worry it's talking about eating you. Sorry, <laughs> I'm too dumb to understand. Ah! The creature attempts to reach inside your mouth. You quickly back away. Do you want to, like, eat my tongue or something? Whoa! Do you really have to put your hand into my mouth? The creature continues to reach into your mouth. It makes hungry, rumbling noises. What if you give me some supernatural deadly disease? I don't know what your paranormal germs could do to me when they come into contact with my body. <laughs> paranormal germs! The creature shakes violently. It seems to get angrier and angrier. Ooh. Without warning, it grabs your head and opens your mouth forcefully, reaching inside. You can feel its hand rummaging around. The creature makes noises as if it is very surprised and amazed about your innards. You scream in pain and terror. You struggle, but are unable to move your head or mouth with the creature's tight grip on you. Finally, the creature takes its hand out of your mouth. It has something in its hand and looks at it in astonishment. What did you take? The creature looks at you, and devours whatever it stole from your body, before you can see what it is. Wait, what was that? Do I need it to live? Am I gonna die? You feel like your insides are somewhat misplaced. Dude, did you like, take my liver or something? The creature stares at you, not caring about what you're saying. It attempts to reach inside your mouth again. Hey now! You want more? It nods and motions for you to open your mouth again. Nah, you're not getting any more of my organs. The creature gets angry again. It grabs you and forces your mouth open a second time. No! Its hand starts rummaging inside you forcefully. Ah! The pain is as agoning as the first time. It's terrible. You hate this. I don't even know what you're taking, blood! The creature pulls out something else and devours it quickly, still not letting you see what it steals from your body. What the fluff did you take this time? It seems amused by the fact that you don't know what it's taking from your body. It squeezes your nose briefly and makes a sound that seems to be its version of a giggle. <laughs> this isn't funny! The creature is unfazed by your shouting. It giggles again. Your body hurts and feels very, very wrong. The wrongness almost hurts as much as the pain. Oh god, I hate this. I should have let you kill me right from the very beginning. But I didn't, and this is what I get. Ugh. Ugh. The creature keeps giggling. It's clearly enjoying this and your funny, overdramatic reactions. STOP LAUGHING! The creature stops giggling, but then it reaches for your mouth again. Listen, dude! No! You try and run away, but the creature quickly grabs you. It pulls out another thing from your body that you can't make out because it quickly devours it on purpose again. Alright, at this, at this point, one of those pencils is going in that thing's eye. We're fighting now. You can feel tears streaming down your face, and the dread consuming you. 
I give up. Just do whatever you want with me. Or better yet, just kill me already. Please. I know it's inevitable, and that I'm at fault for this. You know your body should not be functioning right now, but it is. It will function as long as the creature wants it to function. The creature takes a step back and starts moving its hand in a way that looks like it's talking, mocking the way you communicate. Then it stares at you and giggles. Hilarious. You wonder if you can just kill yourself and end this torment with your own hands, or attack the monster. The creature seems content with your reaction. It seems to enjoy annoying you. Oh my gosh, it's a shadow troll! It continues to make gestures and mocking your body language and communication. Hey! Oh, fluff off! You accidentally make the same gestures the creature just mocked you for. The creature giggles excitedly as you make the same gestures it just mocked. It squeezes your nose again. It seems to find that very hilarious. Oh. My. God! Please. For the love of Kami-sama, just kill me already! You pray that this will be over soon. Your prayers are not answered. There is no god that would be willing to answer someone like you in the first place. What did I do? <laughs> make it stop, make it stop, make it stop, make it stop, make it stop! Worst ending. The consequences of your actions. What did I do? Did I miss something? Am I a dummy? You gosh darn... I don't even have a word in my vocabulary yet for that. Those shenanigans. Alright, fine. What if I do show you my diary? Oh, fine. You can look, but don't laugh. The creature smiles. Its eyes and mouth are wide open. Is all this because he didn't let me look at my diary? Your diary is full of rants, about not finding a certain burger place you had gone to as a child. You don't remember the name anymore, or where exactly it was. Burger where? Burger where? <laughs> where TF is Burger? <laughs> burger! I love Burger. The creature makes low, rumbling noises. It seems to be doing its version of laughing, probably at me. I said not, not to laugh. That burger place had the best burger I ever ate. But a few days later, my parents died. Under circumstances I will not disclose. As a child, I never bothered to remember the name of the places my parents took me to. And after they died, I couldn't ask them anymore, obviously. Ever since then, I've been trying to find that burger place again, to no avail. Hmm. The creature stops reading the diary. It slowly starts speaking in a gravely and slightly raspy voice. Wait, it can talk? It can talk? He can talk? He can talk, 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 I can sing! I know that place. Ugh! Hey, you better not be joking. That would be really mean of you. I am not joking. I know where it is. Oh my god, what are you waiting for then? Time to go get some burgers. Are we gonna, are we gonna go have burgers together? Don't worry, they're on me. The creature nods and lets out a low rumbling noise. It seems excited as well. Are we gonna get board gear? Let's go. <gasps> burger time! You and the creature make your way to the burger place with the allegedly best burgers ever. Board gear. It seems no one else can see the creature but you. You sit in a corner, mostly away from the other people's eyes. Corners are awesome. You're gonna make me look crazy like I'm talking to myself. But I forgive you because you helped me find this burger place again. And also, I haven't felt public shame in years. <laughs> the creature doesn't seem to care about people noticing it or looking at you weird. It's focused on getting that delicious burger. The creature starts drooling. Well, let's get some burgers. 
I'll go get us the burgers. You're gonna love them. You order two burgers. The creature takes a bite of its burger. Good. Delicious. Right? It's so good! I can't believe I can taste this again after so many years. It feels like I'm eight again. Back when everything was still good. And comforting. Oh. And simple. And the concepts of personal autonomy and self-preservation still had meaning. I like burger. <laughs> Me too! I am hungry. I want burger. Dang, you want another one? Consider it done. You order another burger for the creature. You also order dessert for yourself. Hmm. A burger and like a milkshake? Uh. The creature devours the burger in under a minute. So, you can eat human food? Do you eat other stuff too? I can eat anything. Anything? So, humans too? The creature stops chewing for a second, staring at you with an unsettling hunger in its eyes. I can. Well, now that I bought you two burgers, you won't eat me, though, right? I wouldn't put it past him. I could. The creature bites its lower li- n No, no, no! Alright, so how many burgers do I have to buy so that you don't eat me? One. Just one more? Consider it done. Who would have thought escaping the hunger of a terrifying creature from the corner of your room only costs three burgers? Hmm. You order another burger. There you go. If you want to blackmail me for any more burgers, just say the word. <laughs> the creature devours the third burger even faster than the other two. One more. I was joking about the blackmail thing. But you still order another burger. Dude, what are you gonna do when I run out of money? Times are changing. The dollar menu doesn't exist anymore. The creature devours the burger in under a second this time. Something tells me this isn't the last burger. One more. Mm. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, sure. You order another burger. At this point, I would order two burgers. The staff at the restaurant starts questioning why you keep ordering so many burgers and where they're going. They can't all keep going to your stomach. Uh-oh. The guy that's working at the counter looks a little worried and suspicious about why you keep ordering so many burgers. Hey, that's none of your business, brah. You got worse things to worry about. Are you really eating all these burgers by yourself? Where are they going? I'm on a burger diet. I need to eat 30 burgers a day. The cashier gives you an unamused look. 30 burgers? A day? Yes! The cashier obviously doubts that someone would have to eat 30 burgers a day. Ugh! 30 burgers? I can barely get through like... Three? <laughs> so, 30 whole burgers? Every single day? Yes! Alright. Here you go. Thanks! <laughs> Don't worry about it. The creature inhales its fifth burger in a millisecond. One more. Listen, pal. Okay, tell me how many more burgers you want. For real, though, I'll just order them all at once. The creature freezes and seems to think really, really hard. It twitches a bit and lets out a hungry, growling noise. One. One. Getting real tired of your stuff. Oh, all right. You <laughs> don't look at me like that. You order another burger. The creature inhales the sixth burger so fast you don't even see how it consumes it. It looks over at the counter with hungry eyes. It turns back and stares at you. One more. Ha! Huh, I knew it. No, no, you, you, you seem to underestimate me. 
I'm gonna get you that burger. You order another burger. The seventh burger vanishes before you can even give it to the creature. As soon as it does, the creature starts eyeing the counter again. One more. The creature trembles and lets out a low growl, clearly obsessed with burgers now. Well, I mean, maybe he'll become so obsessed with burgers that he'll lose a taste for human flesh. Yes, we're both obsessed with this burger place now. You try and order another burger. But your card gets declined. I knew it. Sorry. Can't just give you that burger for free. The creature trembles violently as it sees its burger disappear behind the counter again. The rumbling noises get louder. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, indeed. It crawls aggressively from the corner of the burger place to the counter, shaking and convulsing. He needs his burger! I want burger! The creature seems almost primal in its need for burgers. Sorry, man. That's capitalism for you. As you return to your seats, the creature's rumbling noises get even more low and even more loud. And, even more primal, the more it doesn't have burgers. It needs burgers. Fast. I must consume burger. You notice your neighbor, that you dislike, sitting at the table next to you. She once called your hair greasy and squiggly. She also never explained what she meant by squiggly. Hey, look! That lady next to us has a burger. I must consume burger. The lady bites into her burger while sitting next to you and the creature. She's been ignoring you, thinking you were talking to yourself like the crazy, greasy, squiggly-haired person you are. <laughs> the creature creeps towards the lady, staring hungrily and drooling. The burger must be mine. The creature grabs the burger and starts devouring it. It growls in delight as it eats the lady's burger. The lady screams as the burger aggressively disappears into thin air right in front of her. <laughs> I love burger. Me too, creature. Me too. I must consume more burger. Oh dear. I think you've had enough. I gotta cut you off, pal. The creature creeps back to you, awaiting more burgers. Well, you know, if you haunt this place instead of the corner of my room, you can get all the burgers. Sorry, man. I don't think I've ever ordered that many burgers before. My card's empty. The creature stares at you and lets out a disappointed growl. It doesn't care about your burger, burger order history or the emptiness of your card. Burger! Are you gonna spend the rest of your life, or existence or whatever, eating burgers now? The creature nods its head, clearly loving the idea of spending the rest of its life or existence or whatever, eating burgers. I guess that would be a good life. I live for burger. That's awesome. But like I said, I can't really help you anymore. Burger! burger. Burger! Burger! The creature seems to be threatening you. It seems to demand... More burgers. More burgers? Uh, yeah, if... Look for more customers with burgers. I'm sure there's a lot of people ordering burgers. You look around, trying to find other customers with burgers to snatch. But you don't. Uh-oh. The creature doesn't seem impressed with your attempt to find another burger. Hungry. Burger. Where? Uh, let's wait until someone else orders one, yeah? Burger. Where? Hungry. Just wait a little bit. Burger. Burger! The creature trembles violently. You can see its body twitching and convulsing. It seems angry. Oh no! And then, suddenly, in a split second, you feel its teeth dig into your neck. I am not Burger! 
You can hear the confused gasp and screams of terror from the people around you as they see your body being mangled and ripped apart midair. Ooh. I bet everyone in there lost their appetite. Oh. One. More. I suppose I am now the burger. How dare you! Uh, instead of looking for more customers with burgers, can I save myself if maybe I still have some cash left? Okay, calm down, man. Don't eat me yet. Listen, I still have some cash, but let's find a cheaper burger place. That way I can buy you more. Yes, more burger. The creature seems to have calmed down a bit. Mm. You scavenge the streets until you find another, way more horrendous looking, but also way cheaper, burger place. A burger there is a fraction of the price from before. Fourteen burgers, please. The shop owner raises an eyebrow, but starts preparing the burgers. Appreciate you not asking questions. I don't care. Here's your fourteen burgers. Wow, the service here is great. I'm giving you five stars on Gaggle Maps. I don't care. <laughs> you give the shop owner a five-star review on Gaggle Maps. The creature stares at the horrendous-looking burgers as if they were the most beautiful thing it had ever seen. <laughs> There you go. Now I'm utterly, completely, absolutely broke. So I really hope you get full this time. Or at least a little full, and don't eat me. The creature grabs all 14 burgers at once and starts wolfing them down. It makes loud, guttural, growling noises of delight. Burger! 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 burger. The creature finishes devouring the 14 burgers very quickly. It is now covered in grease, burger juice, and saliva. It stares at you, still chewing on the last bit of burger in its mouth. <laughs> uh. Uh. Hmm. I still don't care. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great guy right there, giving you six more stars. Uh, had enough yet, you silly? So, you're finally a little less hungry now, right? The creature nods its head. Some burger juice trickles down. It seems content, at least for now. I will be in your room. The creature stares directly at your forehead for some reason. I will be watching you sleep again. The creature starts melting into the floor, while making inhuman and loud, horrifying noises. Appreciate it, man. See you later. Mm -mm. You make your way home. At home, I work out and meditate, and also make plans with my many, many friends, and also with some of my colleagues from the job I definitely have, and I'm very good at, because I am so smart and organized and charismatic and have my life together. You don't do any of these things because you are pitiful and your life is in disarray. <laughs> I go to bed. You go to bed. Hey, buddy. After a while, you notice the familiar glowing eyes from the shadows of your corner. The creature is watching and observing you silently. The familiar dread is starting to course through your veins, but you're used to it at this point. You don't really mind. With low, rumbling noises, it creeps out of the darkness of your corner. Hey, buddy. It also is not covered in grease, burger juice, and saliva anymore. I missed you. Aw, oh, I missed you too, man. I went crazy not watching you. The creature smiles, or at least does the equivalent to smiling from its point of view. I love watching you for hours. Doesn't that get boring? No. Okay. So, like, do you have a name? No. Can I just call you, um, Corner Thing? The creature nods its head. Alright, uh, Corner Thing. 
So, what do you do when you're not watching me sleep? You got any hobbies? All I do is watch you sleep. And when I don't sleep? I watch you not sleep. So, all you do is watch me. Nothing else? Yes. But it is very fun. You always look delicious. Even more than burger. <gasps> You're cheating on burger? There's something more delicious than burger? I see. Well, I'm happy my mere existence seems to bring you such joy. Your existence is lovely. The creature creeps closer and stares down at you from the side of your bed. Yeah? I guess I don't mind you watching me anymore. It gets lonely in this house. I mostly stay inside because there's always someone out to get me somewhere. Although it has been weirdly peaceful lately. I am always here. As long as I am hungry. You will never be alone. That's only a tiny bit terrifying, but mostly comforting, so thanks. Yes. Always hungry. Always protect. Always watching. You also protect me? How nice. From what? Bad people. Oh, are you the reason corpses keep popping up in my neighborhood? What? The creature towers over you, its jaw locks, and makes unsettling, cracking sounds. Yes. I take care of them. Sometimes I also eat them. Getting rid of the evidence. Smart. Yes. The creature smiles, you think? and its jaw pops back into place. I am the law. That explains why it's been so peaceful lately. Thanks for eating my enemies, corner thing. Yes. I like being the law. Law. You're the only law I respect. I am glad. I did not eat you... yet. <laughs> I don't think I'd even mind that much anymore. You eating me, I mean. I love protecting you. Aww. And I love being protected by you. Or, and I love you. Or no, I'm just gonna be myself and go, and I love you. The creature stares at you, with its jaw locking and cracking again. It tilts its head while comprehending your words, while its eyes widen. Burger. Um, yes. To me, you are like a burger. You want to eat me? The creature seems to look down at you, mockingly. It doesn't believe you would be able to eat it. It smiles, you think its eyes and mouth widening even more. No, no, no. I love you like you love burgers, but minus the wanting to eat you part. Does that make sense? No. You do not not eat burger. You are very, very not smart. <laughs> the creature finds your lack of intelligence amusing. Marry me! <laughs> the creature freezes at your words. It leans over you, staring intensely at your forehead. It feels like its eyes are piercing through your skin, skull, and brain. I mean, I did say I aggressively flirt with the shadows in my room. Yes. <gasps> Marriage. You attach yourself to me. Yes. I want to be a part of your life, or existence, or whatever. You love me. Yes. I understand now. Love. 
I love you too. Why do I have a feeling that this is still gonna end with me getting eight? I have already attached myself to you a long time ago. Huh? Let's get married right now. Yes. <gasps> the creature takes your hand and holds a small ring-like object. The object's surface seems to wriggle and move slightly. It puts the ring on your ring finger. The ring twitches and buries itself into your flesh, disappearing. Ooh. It hurts and makes you feel immense dread for a second, but only for a second. We are married now. I'm married now? I can't believe I'm actually married now. And my mom said I would never get married. Take that, mom! <laughs> you flip off the ceiling because your mom is dead and probably in heaven. You also flip off the floor in case she went to H-E double hockey sticks. Wedding mm -hmm. gift. The creature points to a mangled corpse next to your bed. The corpse has a panic-stricken expression on its face, showing the terror it must have felt in its last moments. When did you- Wow. How did I not notice that? The creature looks down at the corpse, smiling. You think. Its teeth start showing as it inhales the smell of blood and raw meat. A wedding gift. A lovely gift for a lovely you. Aw, thank you so much. I've never gotten a gift before, but I don't really know what to do with it. I've never had my own corpse before. The corpse looks and smells horrific. Eat it. Okay. Um, I'll let you eat it for me. I love eating corpses. Awesome. I'll just watch then. You sit on the edge of your bed watching your newly wed spouse looming over the mangled corpse, staring at it hungrily. The creature starts gnawing and biting down on the corpse. Cracking and chewing sounds can be heard from the meat and bones. That's my wife! The creature stares at you while violently devouring the corpse, never breaking eye contact. Hey, you're always watching me, but now I'm watching you. You're only mildly paralyzed with terror, so you can laugh at the absurdity of the situation. <laughs> Watching is nice, right? Yes, it is nice. I am glad you are enjoying- It stops mid-sentence to bite down on a rib bone aggressively. Bone splinters fly in your direction. One of them pokes you. <gasps> Ouch! So, how often do you think about eating me? Many times. The creature bites through the corpse's skull with ease and cracks it open, making brain matter leak. It still hasn't broken eye contact even once. <laughs> All the time. Would you still eat me even though we're married now? I'd be gone, just saying. I will not eat my very delicious looking spouse. The creature smiles. By now, you are sure that it's smiling. Some bone splinters fall down. <laughs> if I eat you, you are gone. Then only misery and darkness. Oh, that's dark. But I'm glad I'm the reason your existence has meaning. Usually it's the opposite. Gotta say, I'm flattered. My existence is based around you. I am glad I did not eat you. Hehe. <laughs> Me too. And with that, you and the creature from the corner of your room live happily ever after. Yay! Good ending. Everyone deserves a happy ending. Aww. How sweet. And I love being protected by you. Hmm. <laughs> Mm hmm? The creature starts drooling. Hey! Hey, you said you're glad you didn't eat me. Yet. I am struggling. Can you struggle a bit harder? For my sake? You bet your eyelashes at the creature. An eyelash falls down. Stop! Hmm? 
You pick up your eyelash and attempt to reattach it to your eyelid again. <laughs> Better? No. no. The creature doesn't seem to care about how many eyelashes are currently attached to your eyelids. Stop. Oh. Looking. Delicious. I'm trying, man. But I was just born juicy this way. <laughs> I was born juicy. The creature freezes. It cracks its neck and tilts its head to the side. It seems the creature has made up its mind about something. Oh no! You are correct. Oh no! Then, in a split second, you feel its teeth dig into your neck. It seems you were born too juicy for your own good. <laughs> I, I don't know if that would be terrible to put on a shirt, but born juicy on a shirt <laughs> juicy ending born juicy this way going all the way back what if I um do not give him more burger no you said one more not two more I'm starting to feel scammed here mm. one more no the creature growls disapprovingly its jaw is starting to twitch and make cracking sounds. One. More. Nah. -uh. Eat this. You stick your tongue out at the creature, mockingly. Oh, he's gonna eat it, all right. For a second, you think it's playing along, sticking its tongue out, too. But then you see its sharp teeth appear and drool trickle down its mouth. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Whoops. Bad ending. One more. Alright. Oh yeah, instead of trying to talk to the shadowy thing in the corner, uh, what if I scream? Ah! The creature doesn't seem to care about your blaring screams of terror. Neither do your neighbors. They highly dislike you and wish you ill will, which is why they won't bother to help you. <laughs> You're still lying in your bed, with the creature watching and observing you silently. Can I keep screaming? <laughs> Can I keep- okay, that's enough. Accept it. You pretend like you don't see the creature in the corner of your room observing you. You close your eyes and wait. Deep down, you know what's going to happen. And you know that it's supposed to happen. Consequences always catch up at some point. What did I do? You can hear creaking sounds coming closer to you. Your heartbeat is so fast, it's almost painful in your chest. There is silence. Before you can peek, you feel sharp teeth bite down on your neck. Your flesh gets torn away from your body bit by bit. Bones and tendons rip and break. The agonizing pain that momentarily seizes your brain and body is a small price to pay for the serene tranquility that will follow. Tr true ending? <gasps> oh, that's the true ending? What did I do? What did I do? That's the true ending? Justice has been served? <gasps> what a silly little creature. <laughs> Well, anyway, that was Creature in the Corner, and there will be a link in the description if you would like to try this game for yourself. Or follow the developer for any more development. Apparently there's more to this story, and I've done something that needs- that warrants being horribly eaten. But, I don't know. I guess we'll find out at some point. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. But anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Take care of yourself. Have a great night, and remember... There is always hope.